If Fredrik Rebbe came home as a little boy and he asked his father, why do we have two eyes? Another story? Why do we have two eyes? So the, so the way he writes the story is that his father thought about it. And then he asked him, do you know the difference between a shin and a sin? And that's what he was learning at the time. So he said the shin is a dot on the right side and the sin is a dot on the left side. So his father said, the Rebbe Hashab said, those are the two eyes. You have an eye on the right side and you have an eye on the left side. The eye on the right side is like a shin, which means a strong letter, strong sound. The dot on the left side, or the left eye, is like a sin, which is a soft sound. So we have the two eyes so that you use your right eye to look at another yid, and you use your left eye to look at candy or toys, tzatzkis. So the Rebbe writes in his diary that that answer made such an impression on him that from that moment on his avas Yisrael was endless and his interest in candy epis faded. He lost, he lost his pleasure. So when I read the story as a teenager, I went to my mashpia and I said, why? Why did that have such an effect? Okay, it's a nice answer, but... <laughs> if you went over to the average kid and you would say, you know why we have two eyes? Because one is on the right side and one is on the left side and you should use your right eye to look at a Jew. And you should use the... Would it make an impression or would the kid say, what do you, what do you want? So you could say the Friedrich Rebbe, even as a child, he was a Rebbe and he was sensitive and he was, but he was six. Why did it make such an impression? So he told me, the Rebbe didn't just think up that answer on the spot. Friedrich Rebbe was learning the shin and the sin. And he was having a hard time with it until this answer. Because sometimes, you know, right, left, you just can't get it, you know, which, which is right, left, you get it. Once he knew that right is the strong side and, and left is the weak side, it was all clear to him. His father wanted to tell him this and was waiting for an opportunity. It wasn't just a spur of the moment answer. It wasn't just a brilliant answer. It was a prepared answer. His father wanted to point out to him that a candy is just a candy. Some things are deep and important. Some things are shallow and foolish. But you can't just say it. So his father was waiting for the opportunity. When he came home and said, why do we have two eyes? The Rebbe Rashab said, oh, this is, this is a good opportunity. So why did it have such a strong impact? Because it felt like something prepared. So if you can imagine, If your, if your father said something to you and it showed that he had been thinking about you all day. 
that would make a very strong impression almost no matter what you said. So there's another story where the Rebbe Rashab called the Rebbe over and he said to him, earlier today when your friend came over, you shared your candy with him, but I saw that you didn't do it with your whole heart. And then he explained to him the difference between doing something half-hearted or doing something whole-hearted. And, and the Friedrich Rebbe was so upset that he threw up his half of the candy. <laughs> So again, why was that so powerful? It's not like the Rebbe saw him give the candy, he saw it wasn't, it wasn't wholehearted, called him over and he said, do it right. It was later in the day. So his father said to him, earlier this morning you did something. That means you've been thinking about it all day. You can't ignore that. Somebody was thinking about you when you weren't even there? Who does that? Who thinks about you when, when, when you're in separate buildings or separate homes? So the fact that you took responsibility or took an interest in this girl and somehow she gets to feel that you were thinking about her when she wasn't even there. And that what you're saying is prepared. You were thinking about it. And this is what you came up with. Boy, that is much, much more powerful than the smartest thing you can say spontaneously. So again, what does it show? That you love her? It shows that she's not alone in the world, even when she's not talking to you. And that, that can save a life. Make sense? <laughs>